Okay. This is more of a rant, really, than a review. But we're going to be talking about the first two episodes of the Hashiyame uh, Half Demon Princess anime, the Inuyasha sequel. Okay, so first off, the first episode was great. Really enjoyed it. You know, it was, it was just lots of nostalgia. Getting to see what happened after, what was it, a six year time skip? And then seeing everybody having their kids and stuff, or some of the characters having their kids and stuff. Seeing Shishon will just literally do nothing and still be a badass. That's what's up. Uh, you know, I don't know how I feel about, you know, Kikyo still somehow causing problems after the fact. I'm just like, can we bury it now, guys? You know, um, and, but, you know, we saw the little owl looking dude, demon guy. Who's apparently going to be playing a big role in all this because he was present at the uh, the end of that first episode. We'll see. But you know, all intended purposes, it was a good nostalgia filled episode. Episode one was fine. Loved it. Art was a little wacky, but music was there. No, art wasn't terrible. It was just a couple of scenes where it's kind of like. You can tell it's new animators and stuff, which is obviously to be expected, but I have to throw that out there. But your yeah, music was there, and overall it, it felt like watching a classic episode of Inuasha. Liked it. Episode 2, not so much. I have some serious problems with episode 2. Okay. So... We start off by seeing how Setsuna and Toa, Sashomaru's daughters, are separated and how um, Toa winds up in the present day where she meets Kagome's brother. That's fine. That was all fun. Because we expected, like, I right, we got the nostalgia episode, now we're going to see how these kids became to know each other. <sighs> Everything about Toa is great. Love her. She my girl, not gonna lie. She's so fucking badass. She's so much like her damn daddy, it ain't funny. You know, she's having to like get, <laughs> change schools and stuff because she keeps getting into fights. And on her way to her new school, she's late because she has to whoop up on these dudes' asses and shit. And that, unfortunately, comes back to be a problem later in the episode. But I, I found it entertaining. She's fucking awesome. Definitely my favorite character out of this anime right now. Um, You know, everything with her was great. What I have a problem with is when we get to meet Inuyasha's daughter. So, you know, she's just sitting there chilling. Waiting to ambush his demon, right? And... Uh, Songo, I'm pretty sure it was Songo that attacked her. Was it Kahaku? It's been so long I forget who was who. But, you know, eventually they both show up. Um, and start fighting her along with Setsuna, who has been working with them as a demon hunter for the past, I don't know how long. The problem I have is, okay, so you both are pretty much Family at this point with the main character of the original anime, Yosha. It can go away. How, at what point do you not stop and say, damn, this cat looks like fucking Kagome or Inuyasha with black hair? And then an odd is wearing the exact, she's wearing the exact same clothes that Inuyasha wore? Hmm. No, let's just attack for no re That really pissed me off. It's, why the fuck are you attacking your friend's daughter? And I'm sure 
Oh, I don't want to say I'm sure, but I'm hoping that there's some sort of explanation that comes later down the line. And going back to what happened in the first episode, where Toa was mentioning something about if she's not careful about what she's going to say, she could rewrite history. I'm assuming that something has happened, some kind of time paradox bullshit that always happens in this kind of stuff. To where maybe Kagome and Inuasha disappeared or their memories have been lost from by everybody else. Kind of like what happened with Rim in the new season of ReZero. Something to that degree. And they don't know that any... or Either they don't know Inuasha and them had a daughter and then that's her. Or they don't even, in this particular timeline, even... Inuasha doesn't even exist. I don't know. I And I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about that either. But honestly, so far, it's, it's really got me kind of pissed off. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty damn stupid, if I'm going to be honest, but we'll see what happens. But, you know, Cessna and, you know, our daughter, who can I forget her name, start fighting, and then they're making mentions about how they both have something called a rainbow pearl, and then as they're fighting, this big-ass fucking snake-looking bitch comes up out of the ground, the demon that they were both actually waiting for. And she's after these rainbow jewels. And I'm like, okay. So, are we doing a Shukan jewel thing again? I mean, because that's what it seems like. Oh, demons after these jewels to get power. Really? Really? We'll see where it goes. I mean, I, I don't, I'm not opposed to the idea that, that these girls having these gems that are... Or mystical or something. That's cool. It's just like, is that going to be the main driving plot of the anime, just like the original was? Because that would be kind of kind of lame, honestly. But we'll see where that goes. Uh, she eventually gets both of these: the ruby, I think it was the ruby pearl, and the uh, I forget the name of the other one. Uh, but then they're standing in front of the tree of ages. Which was kind of cool to see how that see that that played a role in the episode. Um, but anyways, a portal opens up, and then the two girls and this demon get sucked into the real world. And at this point in time, those douchebags from earlier in the episode that were fucking with Toa, well, they kidnapped her adopted sister and other family, and are threatening to kill her. If she doesn't, you know, take an ass whooping. Being the badass she is, she whoops all their asses. Um, then these other demons and stuff come through, and she sees Seth and she's like, "Oh, so I wasn't dreaming because you know, all this time she's like, maybe, maybe I never really had a dream sister. Maybe I was just thinking it the whole time." But no, she's like, "Oh, so that really is my sister." Then, Cessna's all like, no, nah, I don't know who the fuck you are, dog. And the episode pretty much ends with them getting ready to throw down one another. <sighs> like I said. Don't know how I feel about it. Okay. I gotta obviously wait and see how things play out, but as of right now, I'm a, a little upset with it. I guess so far, I mean, from what I've seen, as far as the new characters, I like the new characters themselves. Especially Toa. She's fucking awesome. Like I said, just like her damn daddy. But. Really? You're gonna attack Inuyasha? Yasha's daughter? Like. And, you know, and then it's like, oh, it's something happened at a tie paradox. And I'm like, really? Oh, uh, there's just. There are certainly some early problems, and I hope they get resolved in a satisfactory way. But I'm not necessarily going to be holding my breath on that. But we'll see. Did you like it? What did you think? Let me know.